The extreme flooding this weekend had a big impact on many roads and creeks and also Barton Springs Pool. KVU's Tina Shively is there with a look at what happened and why it may take some time before it's safe to go back in the water. Good morning. Well, the reason why, good morning, the reason why the pool is closed is really easy to see if you spent any time down here at all. You can see the water is not its usual clear, but a murky brown instead. We've got some workers over there trying to clean up the pile of debris. The water came up so high, it left a line of debris along the shore. Staff tells me the flood water likely went up five feet above its normal stage. And when you consider just how big the pool is, you start to realize just the size of the impact out here. However, it's not what we see. The broken diving board whose cast iron base was damaged by the force of the water or the seaweed strewn on railings. It's what's beneath the water that's the real problem. All kinds of garbage that people leave behind on the green belt, everything from glass and cans to even medical waste, was all likely dragged into the pool by the current. It all happened after midnight on Saturday when staff rushed in from home to do what they could to protect the pool. They say they've seen this before, but not for several years. Pretty typical for a flood that comes after a period of not much rainfall. I mean, it tends to be very, very murky water, and there tends to be a lot of leaves and debris in it just because it's from up in the watershed and it hasn't been washed down. So, a staff was only able to get one and a half of the four floodgates open in time for the flood, and that's because of this little guy. Barton Springs Pool is home to the Barton Spring salamander, an endangered species, and biologists need to be on the scene before any changes to their habitat can be made. All of that rushing around happened about 1 a.m. Sunday morning. Now, the city says an average flood takes about four days to clean up. This is definitely larger than an average flood, so no word on when it will reopen. We also want to let you know that the city's trails and now one of the city's five golf courses also remain closed this morning, just getting word about that last one opening up. So now there are four open, one closed, so the city can evaluate the damage on that last one, and they will open them when they feel that it is safe. Brian and Yvonne, back to you.